Tell me a story, Mama, by Angela Johnson. Tell me a story, Mama, about when you were little. What kind of story, baby? Just any old story. How about the time you lived in a little white house across the field from that mean old lady? Meanest woman I've ever known, too, baby. She was so mean that she used to holler out her window at you and Aunt Jessie when you passed her house every morning. You weren't afraid of her, though. No, sir, I was not. One day, she scared Aunt Jessie so bad by letting her old bulldog out to bark at you that all oh, that Jessie cried all the way home. You went back and threw mud on her white picket fence. I sure had a temper. Grandma. Grandmama made you apologize, but she kissed you hard on the head and gave you an extra sweet roll after dinner that night. Your grandmama always makes the best sweet rolls. Is grandmama gonna stay here forever, mama? Just stay here and be grandmama forever to me? She won't be for here forever, baby, but long enough for you to never forget how much she loves you. Did Grandmama squeeze you tight when you were her little girl like she does me? Uh-huh. You were lucky too, Mama. Yes, I was. Remember the time when you were little and you found that puppy with no tail by the side of the road? Poor little thing. You kept it hidden in your sweater, huh, Mama? We had three dogs already. You kept it hidden until it got hungry and started to cry. Grandmama didn't say anything. She took that little puppy from you and wrapped it up in her apron. She gave him milk and then let him live in the milk crate with your old baby blanket. From one baby to another, she said. Do all animals have babies, mama? Yes, they do, the females at least. Puppies, huh? No, sir. Aunt Jessie is the baby in your family. Yes, she is. Why did Grandmama and Granddaddy send you and Aunt Jessie off to St. Louis when you were both younger than me, alone, on a train? You had to work, and your great aunt Rosetta was lonely for children. Hers were all grown up. Jessie and me, we kept her company for a few months. Did your mama and daddy miss you? Like you'd miss the sun, baby. We missed them too, but we loved Aunt Rosetta. Aunt Jessie cried when the train pulled out of the station and you couldn't see Grandmama and Granddaddy anymore. She cried all over me. It's all right to cry though, right, Mama? If you feel like it, it's okay. I feel like it sometimes. Like when my best friend Corey moved away, I did cry then. I bet Corey cried too. I'll bet he did. Would you cry if I moved away, Mama? Yes, I will. Grandmama cried when you moved away, Mama. She cried so hard that everybody at the airport looked at her and Granddaddy brought her flowers and a candy bar. I remember. I like it when you tell me stories, Mama. Tell me more tomorrow. Okay, baby. More stories tomorrow. The end.